Vet, you just ate that motherfucker. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I've been meaning to do this look for a long time and even though I did it before this exact video, um, I didn't record everything because my camera ended up shutting off and I didn't realize it. So instead of putting out unfinished product, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna film it again. I've been following this YouTuber for a while. Her name is Taylor May Jane. I'm gonna leave her video down in the description box. Ever since I've been following her, the way that she does her foundation, concealer and everything, and blends it, it always comes out flawless. So I was like, I wanna try that way instead of how I normally would do it my way. And I'll be doing my makeup like this in every video. <laughs> the application and everything i'm not gonna say it's easier but it just comes out so flawless as you can see so i want y'all to go check out her video too just to see how she do it up i mean hers probably came out very modest but i think if i keep doing it this way it will start to look even better enough rambling if you are interested to see how i got this look just continue watching so I already did the eyebrows, so we gonna go straight into the eyeshadow. I'm not sure what look I wanna go for. I know I wanna do something with pink, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take some setting powder just to put on the eyelid. Now we're gonna get a lighter pink just to diffuse the top of it. Now we're gonna get a purple and just put it in the corner. Now we're gonna take a lighter pink just to put it on the lid. I don't want it to be so much of a cut crease, so I'm gonna just take this pink again. Now I'm gonna take the same brush that had that light pink in it and just go all the way up to the brow bone. Okay, now we're gonna zoom out and do the face. I'm gonna take this Juvia's Place I Am Magic foundation. Let me roll up my sleeve a little bit. Two dots, and I put them on my hand, and we're gonna put that on the face first. Before we do that, let's prime the face first. I did finally order some of this Fenty Beauty Primer, so with this whole Corona thing, hopefully it don't take long to get here. But we gonna see. But well, we literally scraping out of this jar. Now we're gonna take the foundation and we're gonna put it in all the places where I'm not either contouring or concealing. And then I'm gonna take this Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick for my contour. Now 
Now we're gonna take the Juvia's Place Concealer and put that wherever I would highlight. Now, since I already did this before, I'm not gonna put the lighter concealer on because it dries really fast. It's hard to blend out when it dries down. So I'm just gonna blend this out and then put that lighter highlight on. First, we're gonna blend out the foundation. Now we're gonna blend out the contour. Now we're gonna go back to that contour brush. I mean, that foundation brush. Just to make sure everything is blended in together. Now we're gonna blend out the concealer. And this is the first time I've ever used a brush to blend up concealer. Now, before we completely blend it out, we're gonna put on the lighter concealer. And this is the uh, Smashbox Studio 24 Hour Concealer. Now we're gonna finish blending out that concealer. Now we're gonna take that foundation brush again and just blend the concealer with the foundation. And now we're gonna blend out that light concealer. Now we're gonna blend out that nose contour. When you do the nose highlight, you definitely have to go in between all the brushes, except the foundation brush, but the nose contour brush, the light concealer brush, and the darker concealer brush.
So now we're gonna take my beauty sponge and just tap everything in. And that's just because I wanna blend everything seamlessly. Now we're gonna take our setting powder. Now we're gonna get the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder and just dust everything off and blend everything together. Now we're gonna spray the face because I just like the spray after I use all that makeup. And this is the Mario Facial Spray that I just used. Now we're gonna take the opposite side of that beauty sponge and tap that setting spray in. Now we're gonna do the under eye makeup. We're gonna take that same pink color. And then we're gonna get that purple. Now we're gonna get our bronzer. Now we're gonna get this blush. I really like this blush color, but it's all I got for right now. Now I'm gonna put on my lashes and my mascara and all these. The lashes is the Ace Beauty. I don't know what these lashes are called because I use this same lash company every time. So when I take lashes off, I tend to probably put them in the wrong boxes. So I'm not sure what these lashes are called, but we're gonna go into highlight. Today I'm gonna be using the Nubian the Highlight by Juvia's Place. Now we're gonna do lipstick and we're gonna take this ColourPop Friends. And then we're gonna take this ColourPop Quickie. Now we're gonna take the color Appy. Take the mat and set the face. So you guys, this is the finished look. I hope y'all like it. I definitely like the application on how to separate everything and then just blend it all. I think that works way better than how I do it. 
because I think it just blends better. So I'll probably be doing my face like this all the time when I put on my foundation. So thanks Taylor May Jane. I do have this hair video on my channel. I'll put it in the link in the description box down below if y'all wanna see how I did this hairstyle. I'll leave all the items I've used down in the description box. Even though I hate doing that because it takes forever, but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> If you guys like this makeup look, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you're interested in more of these makeup looks, let me know that too. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe link down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye y'all.